A very good morning to each and everyone. How are you all doing? Fine. I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Very good. So, my dear students, in the previous session, we have done worksheet number nine, and it was based on the usage of words this and that. Yes, this and that. Wasn't that a very simple topic? It is clear to all of us now, right? But why? Because we solved so many examples, it became very clear to us. Yes, Sarah, tell me. If there is an object which is very close to me, or oh, unmute Sarah, or very near me, and I'm even able to touch it. So what do we use there? This. Very good, very good, thank you. And Sia, unmute and tell me if there is something that is kept far from me. What do we use to speak about that object? This so that. Something that is far from me. This. Something that is far, Sia. Far from me. What should I use for them? that object? Something that is far from me. Not near, Sia. Far. For example, if I want to speak about the fan, what will I use? This or that? The fan is far from me, right? It is up there. What this. will I use? This. Am I able to touch the fan? No. It is far from me. So what will I use for the fan? That. that, yes. When we speak about something that is far from us, we use the word that. T-H-A-T, that. Is it clear? T-H-A-T, that. Don't forget now, Sia, okay? If there is something near us and we want to speak about it, we use the word this. There is something that is far from us. We use the word that. Okay. Today we, are, today we are going to do worksheet number 10. Worksheet number 10. And it is uh, based on singular and plural. Singular and plural. Have you heard the word single? Single. Have you heard the word single before? S-I-N-G-L-E. Single. Okay, I'll uh, show something to you. I have a single pen with me. I have a single pen with me. I'm showing the pen to you, right? So can you explain the word single to me now? I have just a single pen with me. Yes, Aman, try. Try, Aman. Yes, Laura. Yes, say, what is it? What do I... I have pen with one. Only one pen with me, single. I have a single pen with me means I have just one pen with me. Okay. Yeah, Very good. Okay. Thank you, Aman. Well done. Now, when... Okay, okay, fine. When we speak about single things or things which are available only in one number with us, we use the or we use it as singular. We call it as singular. Singular. We use words which are used for singular things. And the other word is plural. Plural. When there is more than one particular noun, we can say noun because it can be anything, name of a person, place or thing. When there is more than one noun, we call it plural, plural. When there is only one noun, we call it singular. And when there are more than one nouns, we call them as plural. Plural, okay? Yes, Shankar, unmute. I can see somebody there with you. Unmute. Who is that? 
Cousin. 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 Okay. Very good. Nice meeting you. What is your name, my dear? Unmute. Badra. Badra is your cousin. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, now I got. Your uh, video is not very clear. Huh? Your video is not very clear. Okay, but I can hear you well. I can hear you well. No worries. Okay, good. Nice meeting you here, Badra. So, my dear students, are you ready to start with the exercise? Yes, I'm going to share the screen. While the screen is getting loaded, I want everybody to be on page number 32. Page number 3232. And as always, keep your pencil and eraser with you. Because we will be writing the answers now itself. Are you ready? Everybody is ready? Okay, very good. Okay. Today we are going to start with worksheet number 10, singular and plural, singular and plural. Once again, let me remind you, when we are speaking or writing about only one noun, only one noun, we call it as singular. I want everybody to repeat the term singular. Singular, only one noun, singular. And when we are speaking or writing about more than two or more than one nouns, more than one, we call them as plural, plural. Please repeat, singular, only one noun, singular, only one noun and plural more than one nouns more than one nouns got it when we do it with examples it will become clearer to you all right okay now see the same thing is written here if there is only one noun the same thing is there in your workbook if there is only one noun, we say that it is singular. We say that it is singular. And when there are more than one noun, we say that it is plural. We say that it is plural. Got it? One noun, singular. Only one noun, singular. More than one noun, Plural. For example, I have a single pen. I have only one pen. If I have two, we will call it with the plural word that is pens. P E N S. Pens. One pen, two pens. Clear? One book, two books. One table, two tables. Got it? Yes. Understood the difference between singular and plural? Okay. See, once again, we will see a few common examples. Once again, singular means only one. Cup. And here, plural. That is more than one. So the word becomes cups. One cup, two cups. One cup, two cups. Okay. One apple, three 
Yes, Alna. What is the word here? What is the plural for apple? Unmute. Apples. Apples. Yes. Thank One you, apple, three apples. Thank you, Alna. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, my dear. Welcome. Okay, not welcome. Welcome. Say again, unmute. Say welcome. 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 Very good. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ishan, unmute. Ishan, yes, the third one. The third one. One doll and three. One doll and three. When it becomes three, what will be the word be? Dolls. Dolls. Very good. D O L L S. Dolls. What did we add at the grammar workbook? Grammar workbook. Okay, one cup, two cups, one apple, three apples, one doll, four dolls. Okay, when the number increases more than one, it becomes plural. And to make plural, what did we add here? Which letter did we add here? Which letter did we add here to make it a plural? Yes. Abhinav, unmute. Yes, yes, you're right. Abhinav, what did we add at the end of these words to make it them plural? Unmute, Abhinav. Yes. Yes. Sorry? What did we add? S. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. Very good. Now, we will do this exercise based on adding S to the words to make them plural. Okay, Devarsh, unmute. Example number one. Devarsh? Yes, ma'am. Read the example and tell me its plural form. Here we have to add S to make them plural. What do we have to add? Add S at the end of the word to make them plural. Is it clear, Devarsh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please tell me. Cow. Cow. Hmm. Cow. 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 Spelling. C O W S. Very good. Cow. Cows. Thank you. Krishan, unmute. Unmute, my dear. Number two, tiger. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Spelling? T I G E R S. Very good. T I G E R S. Tigers. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, my dear. Uh, Naomi, can't mute. The next one, number three. Read the word and tell me it's plural. C R R uh, O W. Why did you unmute? Why did you mute? Unmute, Naomika. Unmute. Don't touch it again. Unmute again, yeah. C R C R O W Very good. Uh, oh. C R C R O W Crow. How will you make it the plural? Hmm. What will you add S. to the word S? Very good. Now add the letter S and tell me the spelling, Naomi. Come on. C R O W S. Very good. C R O W S. Crows. Crows. Say crows. Crows. Okay, thank you. Welcome, ma'am. Okay, my dear. Sankal Panmute. Number four. Ant. 
Yes. Ant. A N T. Ant. How will you make it a plural? Ants. Spelling. A N T S. A N T S. Ants. Thank you. Esther, unmute. Number five. Number five, Esther. F R O G. Hmm. Frog. Read the word frog. Very good. Now tell me its plural form. Plural. Plural. F R huh? R O G S. Very good. F R O G S. How will you read that word, my dear? How will you read that word? Frog. When you add an S, it becomes frog. Frogs. Frogs. Yes. Very good. Thank you. F R O G S. Frogs. Well done, Esther. Mm, Elroy, unmute. Number six. Yes, say. Yes, ma'am. Yes, say. Duck. D U C K. D U C K. Duck. Yes. Make it the plural. D U C K S. Ducks. Very good. D U C K S. Ducks. Duck. The plural form will be ducks. D U C K S. Thank you, Elroy. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. She's on mute. Number seven, lion. Number seven. Lion. Spelling. L i o n. Yes. Very good. Not a yes. S. S. L i o n. S. Lions. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Abel Anthony, on mute. Number eight. T A B. No, no. Number eight. I said eight. N A K E. Hmm. Which word is that? S N A K E. Snake. Snake. Very good. Snake. So, how will you make it the plural? Snake. Very good spelling. S N A K E S. Very good. S N A K E S. Snakes. Thank you. Elvin, unmute. Elvin Mario, unmute. Yes, number nine. Question number nine. D A B L E. Okay. Table. Table. Make the plural form. Table. Spelling. T A B L E S. Very good. T A B L E S. Tables. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, my dear. Ananya, unmute. Number ten. Number ten. Number ten. Yes. C H A I R. Yes, what is it? C H A I R. What is that? C H A I R. Chair. Yes, very good. How will you make it the plural? What will be its plural? What will you add to the word to make its plural? Ananya? Ananya, what will we add? Unmute, unmute, unmute again. Chairs. Chairs, very good. Spelling? C H A I R S. S, C H A I R S, chairs. 
ओके वेल डन वेल डन अनन्या थैंक यू रक्षण ऑन म्यूट रक्षण ऑन म्यूट नंबर 11 Number eleven. P E N. Number eleven. I said number eleven. Lakshana. Bed. Yes. What will be the Bed. plural? Bed. Very good. Spelling. B E D S. Very good. B E D S. Beds. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Hmm. Ivania Rose, unmute. Ivania Rose, unmute. Ivania Rose, unmute. Yes, Ivania. Yes, number twelve. S T O L L. Hmm. Stool. Stool that we used. Uh, how will you make the plural form? Come on. S T O O L. S T O O L. Yes, say. What will you add to make it the plural? Huh. S T O O. S T O O. L S. Very good. Stool. Stools. S T O O L S. Stools. Thank you, my dear. Rukman, mute. Number thirteen. Number thirteen. Thirteen. One three thirteen. P E N C I L S. Okay. Read the word. P E N C I L. Pencil. Very good. Pencils. P E N C I L. Pencil. P E N C I L S. Pencils. Pencil. Okay. Thank you, my dear. Avish, unmute. Where are you? Sit properly on the chair. Avish. Yes. Read number fourteen. Number fourteen. Is my key? Read. D E. D E S K. Hmm. Desk. Very good. Make it the plural. Plural form. Plural. What will you add? Ah, what what did you add at the end of the word to make it the plural? S. Yes, and spell. Uh, tell me the spelling of the plural word. Ah, huh. Avish. D. Yes. D E D E S K S. Very good. D E S K S. Desks. Okay. Thank you. Able C B unmute number fifteen B A G bag B A G bag bag how how will you make it the plural bat spelling B hmm A hmm A. Hmm. Only one A is there. B A. B A G S. Okay. Very good. B A G S. Bags. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, one. Ma'am, yes. one minute. Yes. What happened, my dear? What happened? What happened? You want to write? Oh. I am okay. the no. Okay, okay. Now oh, you write. No problem. It is there on the screen. From there you can write. Okay. Ryan Salish, unmute. Ryan Salish, unmute. Number sixteen. 
G-I-R-L Girl, read the word first. G-I-R-L, girl. How will you make it into the plural form? G-I-R-L-S Very good. Read it. G-I-R-L-S How would you read the word, my dear? The plural word, how would you read it? Girls, very good. Okay, thank you. Johan, unmute. Number 17. Toy. Okay, plural. Toys. Very good. T-O-Y-S, toys. T-O-Y-S, toys. Thank you, Johan. Nilha, unmute. Nilha, unmute. Number 18. Number 18. 18. B-I-R-D. Okay. B-I-R-D. Bird. Okay. Plural. Plural. Bird. Bird. Spelling. Yes, very good. B I R D S. How would you read that word, my dear? Birds. Birds. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Hala on mute. Number 19. Yes, ma'am. Number 19. Yes. 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 Plates. Yes. Very good. Plate. The singular word is plate, and p l a t e s. Plates will be the plural form. P l a t e s. Plates. Thank you. Pratik Sunil, unmute. Number twenty. C A C A R. Hmm. Ka. Ka. Okay. Plural. C A R S. Very good. C A R S. How do you read it? Cars. 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 Not cars. 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 C A R S. Cars. Okay, very good. Now, in this, okay, well done, my dear. In this question number one, we learned to add S to a few particular words and make them into their plural forms. Yes, we learned to do that. Now, there is another way to make the plural forms of certain specific words. And there we add ES at the end of those nouns, ES. But I don't want to do that exercise today itself because I don't want you to get confused. So today we will be dealing only with adding S at the end of specific words and making them into their plural forms. Adding ES we will do in the next class, okay? Is that fine? Because if I do both of them together, there are chances that you may get confused and I don't want that to happen at all. Okay. So my little ones, we will move slowly. Then everything will be registered in your young minds. Okay. So we will do that in the forthcoming session. As of now, I want... Uh, Abhinav, I can see somebody with you there. Please unmute. Who is that? Sister. Sister, what is her name? Vaiga Sunil. Vaiga. Okay, very good. Do you have just one sister or more? 
or one two? One sister. Only one sister. So, imagine, think that you have two. What would you use the word as or which word will you use there? One sister, two? Sisters. Sisters, very good. Can you tell me the spelling? S-I-S-T-E-R is the spelling of the word sister. So, how will you write the word sisters? T-E-R-S. Very good. See, he did it himself. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, now, let me ask a few more examples. Yes, Badra unmute. Badra unmute. Yes, ma'am. Bhadra also has one sister, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. What is her name? Bhagya. Bhagya. Yes. And if you had two sisters, if you had two sisters, how would you spell that name? That word? Sisters. Sisters, yes. Huh? Spelling, spelling I want. S I S. T T R S R S I S T E R S Sisters say it again Sisters Yes sisters so Bhagya and Bhadra are sisters two are there right Bhagya and Bhadra are sisters Two are there. So they are sisters. Is it clear? Okay. Very good. Uh, does anybody have two pencils in hand now? Show it to me. Come on. Anybody having two pencils in hand? Two yes, or more? Hala. Yes, Hala is having, I think. Yes, Hala. Unmute. Yeah, Ananya is also having. Okay, uh, yeah, Hala, say the pen, uh, say the spelling. Show one and say the word. Show two and then say the word. Come on. One. One. Uh, two. No, what would you call if you had only one in your hand? What would you call it? One pencil. One pencil. Okay, very good. And two. Now keep both in your hand and tell me the noun. How would you make it the plural? Two pencils. Very good. Spelling? P e hmm. P E N Yes, say P E N C I L Pencil when there are two P E N C I L S pencils. Now you say hala. Come on. P E N C I L pencil. Pencil. One. If there is one, we will call it as a pencil. If there are two, that is more than one, what would we call them? Say pencils. Pencils. Yes, yeah, say the spelling, Hala. P E N C I L S. P I L S. Pencils. Yes, Ritik Sunil is having something in his hand. Very good. Thank you, Hala. Well done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Ruthik. I saw something in your hand. What is that? Show it to me. I have two yeah. rings. Two rings. Very good. Now show me one by one. I want everybody to see. Yes. One ring. R-I-N-G. Ring. Say. Ruthik Sunil, say. R-I-N-G. Ring. 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 And when you have two, right? So how would you make it the plural? T I T. No. R I. R I 
N G N. Very good. R I N G one ring. R I N G S two rings. Okay, ring rings. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Ritesh. Okay, my dear. Yes, Rukma wants to show something. Yes, Rukma. What is that in your hand? Remote? Yes. Okay. Say. Show one and say the noun. Show two, both together and say. Yes, yeah, Shankar is also showing something. Yes, yeah, say. I cannot hear you. Unmute, unmute. Rukuma, unmute. Unmute, my dear. Otherwise, I cannot hear. Hmm? One remote, two remotes. R E M O T E S. Remotes. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rukma. And two pen. Okay. Abhinav has one pen. No, two pens. Very good. And two pen. Okay. One and pen. Two books. One and two pens. One, one pen, two pens. One pencil box, two pencil boxes. Boxes. E S has to be added. That we will learn in the forthcoming session. Okay. Good for giving that example, Devarsh. Thank you, Abhinav Devarsh. Very good. Okay, Johan has five or six pens in his hand. Yes, Johan. Very good. Nilha also has. Aman has books. Very good, very good, very good. Well done. So I believe the concept of singular and plural is clear to you all. Please keep the things back on the table. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Abel Anthony is uh, showing me two sharpeners. Very good. Okay, good. So my dear students, we will continue with the exercise dealing with adding ES and making plural in the forthcoming session. All right. Thank you very much. See you in the next class. Thank you. Very good, children. Thank you. Bye.